Hi everyone, this is the flip through and like a short review of the live design cards as a requested video and um, these are by Lisa McLaglin Art, so the same lady who did the Tree Wisdom cards and Plant Alley Oracle and this is a illustrated deck of 49 cards and it has an accompanying guidebook Usually Lisa's cards had the writing and short kind of information about the cut on the back of the card, so this one is different. So these are like personal development companion, whether as an oracle or a numerically structured tool. They tap into your intuitive wisdom and aim to provide support and guidance to make incremental improvements in your life. And um, they are inspired by permacultural designs. So it's quite fascinating how she did it. And in the book, you get like an overview of the deck. So you've got 12 design steps from 1 to 12. And these are inspired by permacultural design. The 12 permacultural principles. So this is like a lens to view your subject with the possibility of sparkling fresh ideas and insights. Then you have the third set of 12 cards, eclectic mix of ideas and activities that align with the seasons. <clears throat> and then you have a final set of cards. And these are inspired by 12 astrological signs. <coughs> and then there's one last card, which is nature note. <clears throat> so... And there is uh, a few suggestions from Lisa how to use the cards and she actually describes quite extensively for the little book how you can use them but also of course suggests to use them intuitively if you want to but there is a few five suggestions uh, how you can use the cards and then we go into descriptions of the cards and they're quite short so as you can see You've got the title of the card, so the key phrase which appears on the card. You have the um, a season and also the cards are season kind of coordinated. So all the different colors are for different seasons. And you have a little description of each card. And that goes for each one of the cards. And there's short references at the end. And that's the whole booklet. So it's quite small and the cards come in the tag box like the other decks. To me it's just one of those decks when you can use it for self-improvement but you can also use it for business and for like business uh, brainstorming and stuff like this. So I'm going to show you, so the bags you have this color and this one for winter I think and this one, the green one for spring. And this is one for autumn. And anything else? There's the black one too. So dark blue and black one. And so they look gorgeous in the back. Like I would prefer if they didn't have the white frames, but the cards in the front have no frames. So now I'm going to just show you each of the card. So this is enjoy. A, the lush and flour uh, flourishing. So as you can see, it's kind of collagey, but also um, artwork of Lisa is uh, beautiful. And I love the phrases she uses. I love this card. It came up for me a few times, and once it was really quite a like wake up call. I thought, wow, okay. Um, find creative potential through deep rest creatively use and respond to change with the butterfly and chrysalis play rejoice celebrate so it's quite easy to <clears throat> you know just you don't really need too much of the book incorporate and value diversity the cute mushies use small and slow solutions take a past present future walk that's cool. Seize the moment to creatively direct your own energy. So that's the Leo card. So the star sign cards are um, a little bit different to the rest. They have like more white background. <coughs> and 
it's very spring make a plan and take action that's autumn I love this one wonder a zigzag walk the straight light line is not always the most what's required so as you can see it's quite kind of um, well not business based but it's like life coaching it's like life design reminds me in um, idea a little bit more of um, like the sacred creators oracle connect with nature whatever the weather reflect listen it's Sagittarius that's cool so they're more kind of advisable like advises and more maybe like action prompts but she encourages you to journal with the cards for yourself and she has a few of those ways um, to use the cards based on their backs as well on the seasons and you can um, group the cards based on this um, scheme which I read to you in the beginning of the video how the deck is divided kind of so there's quite a few ways to play with them but I love the key phrases she uses I didn't understand the word yield. I had to go through a dictionary <laughs> to check it out. I'm like, what does it mean? <laughs> I mean, I could obviously gather it from the picture, but I wasn't sure. Have a rendezvous with your imagination. I love this. That's cool too. Take a perspective. I love this one also. Allow curiosity to drive what does not make sense. It's like genuine. And bring it all together. So this is a whole deck, 49 cards. I hope you guys um, enjoy it. And if you have any of Lisa's decks, you know that the paper is really lovely and shuffles well and I love it. So hope you enjoyed it and if you want to get it, I put a link to Lisa's website um, below in the description box but I know that she also sells through Etsy so you can just find um, Lisa's art uh, Lisa McLaglin art and you can get the deck thank you for watching bye